Welcome. This is the Bibliophile. In this opportunity, I want to talk about the book Sleeping Murder from Agatha Christie. Let's begin. of this channel is to talk about books, about the books that I have read, about the feelings that those readings and the thoughts that those readings create on me. And in that way, uh, show you and uh, maybe give you some hints or things that could interest to you. And in that way, make you read that book. First of all, I want to excuse myself because this is the first attempt to do these particular videos in English because as you may note uh, English is not my native language but I think it's a good opportunity to practice for myself and to increase the spectators from my channel. What I find particularly interesting in books it's many references that you could create with other books and even with your life, with your own experience. So I think it's a really good thing to share my thoughts and uh, reflections with all of you. And also, I'm, I would be glad if you uh, give me some feedback through the comments. I have never read a book of Agatha Christie before and uh, I found her book very interesting. From the first moment I got connect with the story. I think uh, she is very skillful to uh, connect you with the story. The structure is very well done and you can follow the story as something that could happen. It's not outrageous. It is very interesting in the book that the story talk about private investigators related that family affairs. I think it's quite interesting because uh, sometimes you don't know. Maybe if you try to investigate your own ancestors and your family stories, maybe you could find a puzzle to solve and could be interesting to find out if some of your relatives have a good story, a good mystery to solve. And obviously in those kind of books, you will find love. It looks like love and crimes are always together. And passing the pages, you can find a lot of literature references, uh, such as the reference with crime and punishment, obviously because of the topic of the book. It says, people say a murderer always repeats his crimes. That's not true. There's a type who commits a crime, manages to get away with it, and is darned careful never to stick a neck out again. I won't say they live happily ever after. I don't believe that's true. There are many kinds of retribution, but outwardly, by least, all goes well. There, they're talking about the uh, consequences for the murderers when they commit their crimes. And obviously, the reference with crime and punishment is about the punishment itself, not the crime. I think the way uh, Agatha handled the description of the crime, it's very skillful. It gives you an impression, but that impression of picture of the crime is not uh, too disgusting. It's just a fact. And she didn't point out a lot of this crime. She better manages even a poetic image of the crime. And that manage of the crime is, in this case, how a crime could be covered for several times and maybe 
the murderer will never be punished. The reference with crime and punishment is not too obvious because the story of Dostoevsky it's quite different. It's more psychological. In this case, it's more, more like a detective or trying to discover the thing. But between lines, you can find that Agatha hopes that the criminal never goes out without punishment. This new genre is not uh, so common because I, I think the discovering of crimes came out with uh, Edgar Allan Poe's tale. The, this new genre has evolved a lot even with technology because in the past the investigations depend more on intellectual capacity of the investigators. Now they are more related with scientific methods and uh, could be in the future even more related with technology, like the movie iRobot, and even with Minority Report, when the topic changes a lot. Talking about literature references, there is a very good one with Scott Fitzgerald's Great Gatsby, because in this part they talk about a kind of story very similar. May obviously with a different outcome, but the thing is that that relation mm, could give us a hint about the society, the projects, and even our strive to succeed in this capitalist society. Let's see. You got me there, Mrs. Reed. Yes, I did. Wanted to show her perhaps that I wasn't down and out just because a long-faced lawyer had pushed me out of his office. I had a nice business and I was driving a posh car and I've done very well for myself. The reference with Great Gatsby, it's because one of the suspects was kicked out because of his economical status. He was dumped and Later, he succeeded in business and wanted to demonstrate that he is worth for his lover, for that woman. And I think that it could be like a general story for human conditions, because it doesn't matter if you were a slave in the ancient Rome or you are night in the middle age you always want to conquer and slaughter the dragon to earn the love of your lover and that reference leads us to another prejudge that i'm surprised that nowadays it's currently an issue one could think that these kind of things are already being overcome but reality is that today it's very common to have discriminations related with your social position, like in this part. I'm old-fashioned young man. In the modern gospel, one man is as good as another. That holds morally, no doubt. But I'm a believer in the fact that there is a state of life into which you are born and I believe you're happiest staying in it. Besides, he added, I thought the fellow was Brongan, as he proved to be. There, they're talking about the brother of one girl, and he's not happy with the election of his sister for love, due to the social position of her lover. And today we, we can find the same issues. It's very common. The jump between social statuses is not a common thing, as you may, know, uh, as you may think. We still have a lot of prejudices. 
maybe watching this, we can think and try to change that. This kind of books for crime solving puzzles, it's quite exploded by Hollywood because there are a lot of movies related. But I, I want to point a very poetical image about this crime. And it's that the body of the killed girl was buried under shrubs. And it makes me remember one of the movies of Sandra Bullock when something happened similarly and the body gives the materials, the spirit to make those plants to grow up a lot. Obviously the story in the movie it's quite different but this image I think it's beautiful. It's something that keeps you thinking and it's like uh, giving your soul to the nature. And that's why in the future, when I will die, I want to be cremated and spread in the woods. And in that way, maybe my soul could feed the nature. This is all that I wanted to talk about. And I expect that you subscribe to my channel for further comments or reviews about books. Best regards, till next opportunity, goodbye.